Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to solo endless mode in Toilet Tower Defense. So that includes, you know, showing you what is the best loadout to possibly bring, where to place your units down, and how to, like, level up your certain guys, or, like, which ones you should do, which ones you shouldn't do at certain points throughout the match. And by doing this, this is going to get you guys as far as you possibly could in, you know, this mode. So let's get right into it. But before I, you know, jump into the match, we obviously are going to have to choose our units here. So what I recommend you do is bring in the sinister guys this is an all-around super like great unit and he's honestly not even that expensive like if you go look at my website ltcrazy.com the value you could just see how like him compared to other guys he's honestly pretty cheap and you could probably trade for him pretty easily if you get yourself a few like mythics or rare legendaries or rare exclusives find some in the trading plaza there's 648,000 that exist once you get it throw it on you'll be good to go second unit is super super common as well it's obviously our money making unit the santa the tv guys this one i'm not even kidding there's like almost 9 million that exists so if you can't find this one you're really doing something wrong in the game so make sure you get yourself one of those and then after that of course guys of course of course of course we are going to need some sort of medic and what i recommend you do is you have two options here you can just bring in the normal medic because most people in the game have it or you can bring in the speaker one that like runs around like he's like the movable repair one but i recommend you just bring in the medic because everyone has them so you know 17 million you guys if you don't have this one definitely find someone in the training pause that has it and throw it on it's uh pretty cheap like i said so not a big deal and if for some reason you don't have any medics then use the ghost guys instead of the sinister use the ghost because he does not get stunned so it's one less unit you're gonna have to worry about down the road okay so very very important to know that well another unit you're gonna want to bring in is of course the dj tv man now everyone's gonna be like oh okay, i don't have that it's super rare uh, you know, how do you expect me to have that well guys i get that there's only 2000 exists right so if you don't have him just make up your choice what would you rather the dj do more damage or would you rather the announcer guy which actually decreases the cooldown so you can go with either of these it's up to you but since i had the dj and if you have the dj obviously use him then you know just obviously go with whatever one you have that is better okay guys that's gonna be your go-to move now the last unit is going to be the green laser cameraman and he's gonna be our starter unit we need him otherwise we die because if we don't have a starter unit there's no way we're gonna save up fifteen hundred dollars for the sinister and get him down and get him upgraded and you know in bad time we'll just be dead so now this is like the ideal team guys the uh, sinister santa tv man medic dj any of those like booster units just pick one and then obviously a starter unit i prefer the green laser cameraman because you can get him in the starter pack and also he like slows enemies down so he's he's effective pretty much in the entire game so i highly recommend you guys get this dude here now if you don't have like any of these certain units like i said most of them are pretty easy to get except for the dj tv other than that then like this is like your your go-to loadout for this map like i'm telling you guys like this is all you need now is it gonna get you to wave 105 like mr or m rod and like all these other guys did purple and you know juice got to 102 102 101 101 like those guys are playing what looks like to be in duos so as a duo i guess you could probably make it a little bit further but as a solo i just uh you know i don't know if we're gonna be able to get that high guys i'm gonna be honest with you but this is still your best option this may get you onto the leaderboard because guys to get onto the leaderboard you only need to make it to wave 80 so i mean i, mean, I know that's tough don't get me wrong but if we get to wave 80 we're gonna get that new unit that's coming out guys the uh the ultimate drill man i'm pretty sure you get it from getting it onto the uh, endless mode leaderboard so this is really important to do you guys now know the best uh, loadout so we can pretty much jump into the toilet fortress but before we do that guys i'm doing a special giveaway for one lucky subscriber of mine all you got to do to enter the sign at the giveaway is of course leave a like on this video smash that subscribe button and most importantly comment your roblox username once you guys do those few things you're almost good to go but make sure you head on over to my website ltcrazy.com and enter your tickets if you don't know how to do that i'll show you how to do it right now all right guys once you're on my website scroll on down and click the giveaways button once this page loads up on the top you got the sign mythic giveaway if you scroll down a little bit more you got the giveaway for the next stream so make sure you join both of those and also on the top you got the toilet tower defense page click this so you can find the accurate value of any unit in the entire game you can just use the search bar or use these like little buttons here once you guys do that you'll never get scammed again so happy training and let's get back to the video all right guys hey good luck in the giveaway i hope one of you awesome viewers of this video ends up winning it we'll be picking that winner pretty darn soon guys because we're almost at 420,000 subs and that's when the winner is going to be chosen so hopefully you guys if you aren't subbed yet you smash that subscribe button we'll be there in the no time so that'd be awesome but anyways in the meantime let's focus up here and let me show you guys how to solo this map 
to your best ability now of course the first thing you want to put down is going to be the santa tv man this guy right here is going to uh actually help slow the enemies down a little bit and on top of that he's going to help produce you a lot of money now in the beginning of the game i like to of course put on auto skip now you don't have to do this if you really don't want to but especially for wave one you're gonna want to put it on because well if you don't you're gonna die to well not technically die but you know it's not gonna feel good getting hurt by all these enemies here when there's really no reason for it so i just uh play it safe and you know we're gonna go like this put these guys down and boom you know he's not the perfect spot right now because he's kind of in the way for future sinister dudes but for now you know for these first couple waves here and there up to probably wave five he's fine and you know we're just gonna leave him there guys it's no big deal and of course i am gonna keep auto skip on because with that extra money we're actually able to get down an extra santa so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put down two right here and once again the only reason we're putting them right here is because when these enemies walk through the gate come over here they're gonna stun them slow down and then that's going to give your sinisters and any of your other troops time to end up killing them so in my opinion it's a pretty darn good idea to do that so you don't have to if you don't want to but that's my recommendation of course you're watching this video to how to solo it so you know if i were you i'd follow along and place your units in the right spots but it's up to you if you don't want to put them there put them in the back so they don't get stunned so they don't like stall you out it's fine but anyways once you get those guys down you can either upgrade your green laser here or you can go over here and upgrade one of your uh, santas just like that and then now once that wave skips you know, you're going to have a lot of extra money to go ahead and upgrade this green laser man again to level 2. And then you can upgrade a green Santa here. And boom, guys. There we go. Wave 5 already. So far, we're chilling. I'm going to keep on auto skip for right now because I don't like wasting my own time. And, of course, I don't like wasting your time. So, let's keep rolling, guys. Now, so far, so good. We're on wave 6. And we can upgrade this guy again. But we also don't have one of our Santas upgraded. So, we might want to focus up on him. And, uh, you know, by doing that, the quicker we get these guys upgraded, like these uh, three right here, basically, the, the quicker we're going to make more and more money throughout the match, which means more and more Sinisters. And the more Sinisters, well, obviously, guys, the more Sinisters, the longer we're going to last in this match. Now, some people, you know, you might be a little confused. You might be wondering, like, hey, LT, why didn't you bring the clock guy? Well, the clock guy is good, but as a solo, you just don't have room for him on your team, unfortunately. So, that's just... Uh, one of the disadvantages by playing this mode as a solo if you like i said if you want to be the best at this game you have to have to have to play as a duo it's the way you do it you guys saw the leaderboard i showed you those two guys did it together they got to wave like 106 or something like that so the reason they're getting that far is because likely one guy is bringing in the loadout or something very similar to what we have now with like the sinister and the healer and you know probably the dj guy and the starter unit but the only difference is that team that he's on because there's two of them they have room for a clock man and what's so good about the clock man you may be asking if you know maybe you're a little bit newer to the game well the clock man the titan clock man he's the 700 robux costing unit he's honestly free to get guys if you just trade for him you can get him pretty easily there's a lot that exists now so don't worry about spending your robux you don't have to just get him for free but once you do get him the good ability that he has is he stops time like completely like literally all the enemies stop moving and then you can just kill him so what these good players are doing is they're playing the match super slow they're not auto skipping in the far waves and they're just stopping time when things are getting a little sketchy they kill the enemies and they do it all over again and they just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and that's how they're making it so far guys seriously there's really no uh no secrets other than that it's just because, you know, as a solo player, you can't get those clock guys. And if you do use the clocks instead of the Sinisters, well, then you're using uh, less DPS because the Sinisters are slightly stronger. If you guys don't know, these do about 60-some thousand DPS. And then plus, with the you know, the DJ, he does even more. Whereas the clock only does 50,000. And then a little bit extra if you, you know, throw in some of the DJ units. So that's why I use the Sinister. He's a little bit stronger. And plus, I think he does better AoE. And as a solo player, that's better because... The Titan Clockman just doesn't seem to attack very well. At least, like, in the ways that I would want him to attack. Like, he just doesn't hit hard enough, in my opinion. So, I don't use him for that reason, guys. I just don't use him because, like I said, I just don't think he uh, does what he should be doing for how expensive he is as a unit. But, you know what? I'm not the maker of the game, so I shouldn't care, right? doesn't matter to me. I just got to do what I got to do. But, guys, we are on wave 14 now. And we still have auto skip on. So, like I said, if y'all want to play this super slow... Turn it off at like wave five, but like I don't like to spend in my matches like three hours, four hours, so I keep it on. And uh, you know, in the higher waves though, 
you know, definitely, definitely turn it off, okay? If you want to make it as far as you possibly could, you're going to want to turn it off past wave 20. Seriously, like, at, at that point, like, the game's going to get super difficult, and you're going to want to have it off. Otherwise, you might die. And y'all don't want to die, right? I don't think so. But anyways, once you see all these dual claws getting close, make sure you put down a little medic here, because if your Sinister gets stunned, well, then, obviously, that's going to be really, really bad for your team. So, just be extra careful about that. And then, as you know, you're doing that, just keep on upgrading your Santas, guys. Just keep on upgrading those Santas. Because, like I said before, the quicker we get them maxed out, the better off we're going to be in the long run, okay? So, make sure y'all focus up maxing out those Santas. If you feel like you're a little bit weaker, like for all those enemies coming this way, I'm going to go ahead, save up that little bit of extra money here once I get a kill eventually. And then I'm going to spend it on the green laser cameraman upgrade, I think. Because, actually, we could go with this upgrade, too. It doesn't really matter. Just do whatever one you feel like you, you want more. So, you can spend it on the green laser, spend it on the sinister. It doesn't matter. They're both going to get upgraded eventually anyways. So, yeah. But anyways, let's upgrade with this $4,000 we got from the wave skip. Let's upgrade both Santas. There we go. And then now our sinister, because we upgraded him there. He actually has a lot more range and more damage. He does 2,000 every 0.5 seconds, which in total is 4,000 DPS. And keep in mind, that's AoE, splash damage. So it attacks multiple enemies at the same time. As you can see, both of those minigun toilets are getting absolutely smoked. And then plus your green laser is going to finish him off. Now, if you guys don't have the green laser, like I said, he's uh, easy, easy to uh, get. Like, you know, starter unit. He's in the starter pack, so spend a little bit of Robux. If you don't have Robux to spend, just trade for it. There's like millions of these that exist, so not too much of a big deal. At least it shouldn't be for you. And uh, then you guys will be doing really good for yourself. But anyways, I'm going to upgrade the Sinister again because we need to do more damage. As you guys can see here, there's a lot of enemies getting pretty darn close to us. So this is probably a good time to upgrade your green laser as well. Because he will absolutely shred through all these bosses. As you guys can see, the, you know, obviously the AoE splash damage is good from the Sinister. But that green laser guy, he really, really puts in a lot of work for you. So trust that unit okay now with that extra money we got there let's go ahead spend it on our santas and soon enough guys our santas are going to be maxed out it definitely wouldn't hurt to max out your medic as well just at least a little bit get them down to like the tool sec uh, two second cooldown that's gonna put you in a much much better position now with all the stuff that we got now we could spend it a little bit extra even on the other santa but unfortunately he's stunned that's one of the downsides of putting your units there when they are stunned you cannot upgrade them but it's also a positive because when they're stunned it slows the enemies down so it's a little bit of a scenario where you kind of have to find the trade-off if you like him there put him there if not if you feel like it doesn't matter then put him back over here like literally guys you can put your santas back here and be safe okay so do whatever you want but i put him up there because i still feel you know that maybe extra half second could really help your team out but like i said you know do what you got to do if you feel more comfortable putting him by the campfires all the way in the back then hey, go for it. But as you can see, having them there for me is working out just fine, at least for right now, right? So, so far, hey, we're going to keep them there, and I think we're going to be okay. But now it would be a good time, or at least like a little bit even earlier on, you probably could get down your DJ guys. Don't feel afraid to like put them in like a, you know, honestly, like having them right here in the middle would be the best scenario, but we obviously are not going to be able to fit them there. So we could put them here, but we would like to get a Sinister there at some point. So I'm thinking like maybe over here, would be a good spot because this will cover most of the map so obviously it doesn't cover everything right now but we're gonna go ahead and do some upgrades now he's maxed out and now we're gonna be doing attacks even quicker you guys can see here and more damage so it's super super effective for your team it's gonna make you guys do a lot more damage and make that damage go out a lot more quicker so you know it's gonna be good all around for your team and especially if you're doing like a duo game later in the future you get this dj you're gonna be golden guys but since this is a solo video and this is what you're doing you know obviously it's gonna help you out a lot right but if you guys don't have this DJ TV man here, I would probably say go for whatever one ends up being cheaper to place down and upgrade, okay? So, I don't know the exact answer for that. If they're the same price, then honestly, like, they're both helping you out a ton. So, just do whatever one you feel like is better for you, okay? There's probably, like, an exact number on which one's better, but I don't know that, to be honest with you. So, just do whatever one, like, you feel like, you know, you like more. Whatever one you have, maybe you only have one of them, so... Whatever the case is, it's going to be, uh, I guess, kind of unique to, you know, your scenario. So, do whatever you got to do to get the job done. But as you can see so far, hey, we're on wave 28. We've been auto-skipping this whole time. Things are looking good so far. They are going to get hectic here as we go, you know, further and further and further throughout this match. Trust me, guys. It's going to get very, very sketchy and very, very hectic. But as I said before, you know, we're here for the challenge. I'm here to show you guys how to do it. 
and that's what I'm gonna teach you how to do so so far so good we're all doing well and as you can see those snowballs guys they hurt those enemies so much it's so effective it really is but anyways make sure you get your things maxed out by like a wave 30 that's gonna be a good like viewpoint to you know see how you are against like compared to me like if you got your synthesis maxed out on wave 30 or even before like wave 25 that's perfect guys but look at this so now these guys are getting a little too quick for us so it wouldn't be a bad time you know if i were you in a perfect world where i'm going for a leaderboard match this is probably where you're going to want to start slowing the game down and taking it a little bit more on the easy side you know you don't have to play it super slow like when they get to like right here put on skip you don't have to put on auto skip just click the skip button that's going to be safer because if you have auto skip off at least then if you forget to turn it off or i mean i should say if you have the green auto skip button on and then you forget to turn it off well you could be in big trouble but if you just use the skip button, then I mean, it's really not that big of a deal either way, right? Like kind of, you know, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter, but like, you know, I can click it or I can't click it. It's, I, I have the option. It's just, I have to click it to skip. So I think that's pretty good. Auto skip. It's a little sketchy. I ain't going to lie, guys. And this is like one of those waves. Maybe you wouldn't want auto skip because there's giant uh, toilets coming, giant blind ones. But you know what, guys? I'm a full send it. We got an extra money there and uh, hey, we'll upgrade our guy again. So now we're doing a ton more damage. So I think we're going to be safe, but uh you know, anyways, you see how those giant blind toilets are so slow? Well, all the other enemies from the next wave after that are just going to run right by them. So it's kind of like evens it out and doesn't really make it matter that they're so slow. Just kind of pretend that they're with that wave 32 when realistically they were from wave 31. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. And anyways, this like endless mode doesn't really start getting too, too difficult until you get to the glitch. Once the glitch comes, I'm going to show you how to defend yourself against the glitch because... He has ended so many of my fans' runs. They always tell me, hey, LT, how do I stop the glitch? Or, like, why does the glitch kill me every time? Or, like, when I'm playing with my friends or, you know, when I'm playing in my stream with you guys, we always die to the glitch. And the reason is because sometimes he's just bugged. All right, just know that. Sometimes he just goes right down the track, doesn't attack any of your enemies. But one thing you could do to help prevent it is by placing down a bunch of random units, like, right here. Okay? I'll show you that later on. We'll do it. But uh, for right now, we... Uh, you know, shouldn't do that yet because I want to save my money. I honestly, you know, guys, no, they're only 150. Let's just do it. So we're going to put them right here, here, and here. And the reason I do that is because when the glitch comes over this way, he's got three chances to wrap himself around these units. So he'll do this one. He'll go like this. And then he'll go onto the track again. And he'll go like this again. And then he'll go onto the track. And then he'll go like this onto this guy. Well, that's happening. You're a sinister. And your other guy back here could kill him. So... It's a very smart move. I highly recommend it, guys. If you don't do that already, make sure y'all start doing it. But anyways, we can upgrade our guy again. And even with this sinister all the way back here, he could reach all the way up here. Now, he doesn't do his scythe ability just yet. But uh, it's close. It's very, very close, guys. And yeah, that scythe ability is super strong. That's why I like using him over the clock man. But I do get the benefits of using the clock man. Now, obviously, like, the clock man literally stops time. So... That is very nice. It's just, it's unfortunate. Like, you gotta make that sacrifice. It's either more damage or the clock man. I like damage. So, that's why I use the, the uh, sinister. So, and plus, like, I like to show, like, me using the sinister because, you know, as a free to play player to other free to play players, I know for you guys, it's gonna be a lot easier to get the sinister than it is the clock man. Because, like I said before, the clock man literally costs 700 Robux. For what reason? I don't know. But, he does. It's probably because Talantric and, you know, IMM, and they know that, you know, people are going to buy it. So it doesn't matter. Just make it, make the price raise, 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 and raise, and raise. People are going to buy it. They can make a unit a 1,000 Robux, guys, and people are going to buy it. It don't matter. People will buy it. And that's the logic they have right now, I think. So it's a dangerous, uh, dangerous logic to have because, you know, obviously, like, if that's the case, then what stops them from just every single update just kind of keep on rising? It, it's kind of scary, so... You know, whenever I make a game, guys, I'm going to try my best to not have any system like that a part of the game. So, just uh, just know that because that uh, gets a little sketchy. It's a bit, a little bit sketchy, and I want to try to avoid that. But anyways, we got a lot of enemies coming our way. We got some welders, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so the welders, they're really annoying. That's why it's important to have AoE because it definitely stops them because the AoE just shreds right through. But anyways, guys... Once you uh, clear out that wave and you have enough money to put down another Sinister, it's going to be time to put down another Sinister, of course. So, wherever you could fit them, put them down. I can fit them right there. And my medic covers them. 
The only unfortunate part is my DJ sadly does not cover him. But the good thing is you can put down two DJs. So for you know the time being, I could get another one down here, and you know we could get that guy to uh, get some extra damage going out. So that's good. But instead of wasting all my money on the DJ, you know make sure you probably you know you're gonna want to upgrade the Sinister first because he's really good. But I mean you could if you want to upgrade this guy. You know what, guys go for it. It doesn't matter. Upgrade the Sinister, upgrade the DJ. It don't matter. Just make sure something's upgraded, and I'm sure you're gonna be fine. On the claw toilets, they could be a little bit of a problem, but I mean the other Sinister will smack him right off your Titan and no issues at all. So y'all should be pretty good. But you know, we'll see soon, right? Let's skip, get that extra money, and then our thing is maxed out. So all the damage that we're doing now is through the roof. And as you can see, the claw toilet even gets attached on to the green laser cameraman guys. And that's super nice because you know it's better to latch onto them your sinister because those little laser guys down there don't really do too too much damage whereas your sinisters are your kind of your big bad units those are the ones that you do not want to lose and here we go we got uh, some parasite toilets as well they're just annoying they cause problems i wish they didn't but luckily because we have splash units when they throw the snowballs right there in that corner they die pretty quickly guys let's skip again though we'll go ahead upgrade our guy again and the sinister is looking even better now and we're so close to wave 40, which once again, if y'all don't know what wave 40 means, wave 40 is when the glitch comes. And that's why we got those green laser cameras there, because we can defend against it, right? Now, for these waves here, like, like you should be fine. Like, seriously, if you, as long as you followed along pretty exactly to what I've been doing here. Like, guys, y'all shouldn't even be sweating. Like, this is, this is a piece of cake, right? Like, I haven't even had, like, a unit, like, get to, you know, like, see this guy's radius. Like, no units have even gotten over here yet. So that just goes to show that we're straight chilling, boys. Straight chilling. Now we're on to the next wave. Looks like we killed most of it. So let's just skip again. Wave 39. And since we got a bunch of money there, we could go ahead and upgrade our sinisters here. So yeah, that's what we're going to do, boys. That's what we're going to do. Now, you know, this uh, helicopter toilet thingy here, he's almost got a million HP, but that's going to be something you got to get used to because a lot of your enemies you're going to be facing soon are going to have over a million and they are going to be hard to kill. But they're just going to have to do it. Now, one thing you got to watch out for when you play in this mode, guys. And this is something that even happens to me. Sometimes it just kicks you out of the game. And that sucks. Because, you know, if you quote unquote lose your internet connection, which isn't really you. It's just the Roblox kicking you out of the server. Basically, you lose all your progress. And that's why playing as a duo is better. Because if you get kicked out, guess what, guys? You could join back and get yourself back into the fight. Which is, you know, a good thing. But if you get kicked out as a solo player, well, unfortunately, your run is over. So try to avoid getting kicked out at all costs. Now, I know it's not up to you. It's more so up to the game servers. But, you know, if possible, try your best to have the best internet as possible, okay? That's, uh, you know, very important. Don't, uh, don't have a cat running around your router that's going to unplug something or something bad like that. Because, hey, you don't want to be on wave 104, have your cat knock out your wire, and then lose all that progress, trust me. I haven't been there, but I can imagine the pain. That would be very, very painful, right? You don't want that to happen, guys. Now, when these guys uh, get close to you, skip, and then we'll start the next wave, and we should be fine. As you can see, we are absolutely, absolutely, absolutely shredding them, boys. So, yeah, we chilling, guys. Big chilling, big chilling. But anyways... Here we go with the glitch. He's got 1.5 million HP, as I told you. No joke, it's a lot. But, you know, with our strat here, he should work out. So he's doing that little loop-de-loop -loop, uh, thing. But keep in mind, he's going to get back on the track, and he's going to come to us. And he moves quick, guys. It's He's not like... He's not a unit you want to mess around with. I feel like he's a little bit slower right now, though. I don't know why, but... He seems slower than normally, which is kind of weird. Anyways, he's going to come over here. And as you can see, he's going right on to the green lasers. So exactly what we said i would skip get your extra money and upgrade your sinister because then you'll do even more damage so that's what i would do and then all that splash damage is going to kill him fairly quickly and see he's still stuck on that green laser right there in the corner super op strat guys you'll never die to that glitch ever again if as long as one of your teammates does what i did here I'm telling you guys super strong so you know in the future if you ever try on this mode and especially as a solo and if you guys really want to get far make sure you follow step by step where I'm placing these guys, when I'm upgrading them, so on and so forth. You know, it's it's pretty important because you place a unit like 
you know, let's say you place a Sinister back here. Well, he's not going to have the range to reach these guys. And it's going to make your match take 10 times longer. Trust me, you don't want to do that. Anyways, once these guys get uh, pretty far, at least as far as they are now, you're, you know, free to skip, I would say. So, smash that skip button and, you know, you'll be good to go. On to the next wave, you know. You don't want to be here, like I said, for hours and hours and hours. You know, I, I certainly don't want to play this map for four hours long. But, at the same time... You know, of course, I do want to make it as far as I could possibly make it, right? Like, you know, I want to make it pretty far. I want to get on the leaderboard. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to waste your whole life away playing to a tower defense. So you got to be careful. You got to, you know, there's just trade-offs. But for the time being, guys, don't worry about getting on the leaderboards. Wait until the ultimate units come out. That way, I mean, unless, you know, you want to practice to get on the leaderboard. Practice, but the true grind is going to be when you could actually you know, get onto the leaderboard, because that's going to be the coolest thing ever, right? So, we'll have to wait and see. But anyways, skip so you get that extra money to upgrade your guy again, get the scythe, you'll be good to go. Those UFOs shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then, obviously, now is going to be another good time to get down to Medic, too, because you guys saw there, it kind of, it's a little sketchy when you start getting stunned. When your Sinisters go down, that's sketchy. But as long as you keep those Sinisters up and running, y'all are going to be fine, big fine. And guys, think of this, we're halfway, halfway, halfway to getting on the leaderboard top 100 in the world and it's only been 20 minutes back in the old days nightmare mode used to take an hour legit an hour so you know to be like crowned top 100 in the world is pretty cool for a match that's only going to take you about you know 40 45 50 minutes you know obviously if you want to get to number one it's going to take you a little bit longer but you know it's still pretty cool right anyways let's keep on rolling here we could obviously skip and if you know you guys like i said if you want to play it even smarter than I'm playing it right now, don't skip until you kill the enemies. You know, like I said, I, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. I want to keep the match, you know, rolling. But, like, if I'm trying to get on the leaderboard, I am not skipping here. I'm just waiting it out. Waiting it out, waiting it out, and waiting it out some more. Because I don't want to die. And I surely don't want to die stupidly, right? So, I would uh, play it slow and play it smart and not lose to no nonsense like that. So, now at this point, though, unfortunately, our medic can't really cover guys that are over there. So... That's a little bit of a bummer. If I could, like, fit a, you know, Sinister over here somewhere, that would be great. But it seems that the Sinister's, like, placements are very, very wacky. And I don't know why. As you can see, like, I feel personally like I should be able to get my guy down here. I think he's calling my Sinister fat, Philantric. But, you know, there, there's, there's definitely space right there, Philantric. But, you know, what do you mean? Look at, guys, come on, right? Like, am I alone here? Why can't I place him there? I, I don't understand. So, if that's the case, if you guys are struggling to put your units down, just find your perfect spot. I'm going to put mine right here, because my medics could reach them, and my DJs reach them. So, that's a plus. If you know you have all those units in the right spots, you're going to be good to go. Now, when you get to this point, you can see down here in the bottom right, I'm 14 out of 15, right? So, you know, that's not good, because we're going to run out of units that we can place down. So... Eventually, you can start selling these guys in the front here, the green laser caramans, because, you know, by then you're going to have enough strong units that you should be able to kill the glitches pretty, you know, easily. And then also, keep in mind, later in the match, once you save up a bunch of money, you have these uh, Santas over here, delete them, you know, get that money, place down more Sinisters, you'll be better off. You'll have more DPS, like, keep in mind, like, each of these Sinisters is about 100,000 DPS, so that's 300,000 extra damage per second that you'll be doing to your enemies. If you, you know, delete those guys. So, pretty important, right? Well, let's skip to wave 46 here. And keep on rolling because these guys, really, I don't think are going to be too much of an issue. Because wave 46 is going to get through. And that ultra launcher rocket toilet guy is going so slow that, you know, by the time he gets to us, wave 46 will be dead. I'm not even joking, guys. At this point, wave 46 is going to be dead by the time he even gets over here. So, that's crazy. I know. But, hey, it's pretty true, right? Because, you know, you guys can tell. It's just, uh pretty obvious at this point anyways we have thirty thousand dollars right i don't even know how we got thirty thousand dollars but we do so we better use that up and upgrade our sinister here because you know more damage the better off we're gonna be and uh it's gonna put us in a winning position if we're in a winning position then we're doing something right guys so let's make sure that we keep putting ourselves into winning positions now so far so good but there are a lot of enemies coming but this is a good time to skip to get that extra money in case we need to put down an extra unit here so make sure y'all go ahead and do that and I'm telling you right now, you're going to be thanking me later, all right? But for right now, we do need to save up a teeny tiny bit more money to get the next upgrade for the Sinister. Because he costs an extra $1,000. And, you know, we're not quite there just yet. We're close. But 
we're not close enough boys we're not close enough right so we got to keep on moving and eventually we shall do it so let's get it done let's get it done let's get it done let's get it done here we go now we do have an oven coming after us now that's kind of uh, sketchy but we do have enough money to upgrade our sinister so we shall go ahead and do that and uh, that'll be good for us that'll be just fine boys that'll be just fine so there's that and come on now game there we go we are starting to attack the enemies so that's good but you know don't forget guys like at any point something could go wrong like you know if you lose your internet something like that happens to you don't let it like defeat you like don't quit the game because something stupid like that happened just get back out there and get back after it all right like you'll get on the leaderboard by using these units using this strategy like obviously now if you guys don't realize the strategy is just to keep putting down more sinisters like there's really nothing more to it it's not it's not like rocket science so i'm sure y'all figured it out but if you still want to follow along kind of see how far we get then you know i recommend you you stick it out but this is how you do it guys just like this so let's keep it rolling let's see how far we could you know actually get here and i'm curious myself because I haven't played solo mode in a while because, you know, normally I put my fans on stream. If you guys don't know, I stream like all the time. And, you know, I'm sure you guys know that. But, you know, we usually do like carries and stuff like that. So I've been doing that for a long time. And, uh, you know, we normally get to like wave like 40s. So, you know, we're on 48 now and uh, 26 minutes in. I mean, like, guys, great timing. Seriously, like this is fantastic, fantastic, fantastic timing. And I'm pretty happy about it. So, yeah. But anyways, here we go. We got the next wave coming our way. So this wave 48 is actually really difficult. I'm not even going to lie. So be careful with this wave, guys. I'm not even joking. Seriously, be extra, extra careful because it could really mess you up. And I'm not even kidding, boys. But anyways, so far, so good. We could probably skip now and that'll be nice for us. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. All right. So all those guys are dead. We could upgrade our little sinister there and we should be straight chilling. So very nice. Very well done, right? And uh, I mean, hey, there's a lot of rockets coming now. It's going to be kind of annoying to deal with, but I think we'll be able to handle ourselves pretty, pretty well. And here we go. So wave 49 is almost over. We do have enough money to put down another Sinister. So I would love to get him right there. But once again, guys, y'all really don't want to put your dudes away from your medics. Because if you do that, you could, you know, wind up getting yourself in some big trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and put my guy down like right there. He should be covered by the medic. And plus, something that... You know, you could consider getting a unit over here, even a little bit earlier on in the match, could be nice because once I max him out, I'm pretty sure his snowballs reach this corner and that will initially damage the enemies. So watch as I upgrade him. See, right there. I'm not even maxed out yet, but you know, obviously he'll be able to hit this corner. And when he's able to hit that corner, he does initial damage, which is good because it hurts your enemies. The more hurt your enemies are, the better off you're going to be. But anyways, we do have our biggest attacking unit coming after us now, which is the uh, giant smooth toilet. He's got 6.7 million HP, guys. So that's crazy. It's a lot. I know. But seriously, don't be scared. Y'all got this. Just sit back, relax, watch your sinisters do all the hard work while you get all the rewards. All right? You're going to be chilling. You're going to be straight chilling, guys. And like at this point, like wave 50, like I got 15 out of 15 like sinisters down. So... The strategy now, for those of you that want to really know, is to start deleting these green laser cameraman guys here, okay? Y'all don't really need those anymore. They are nice, but y'all don't need them anymore, okay? Trust me when I tell you, y'all don't need them anymore. What you're going to want to do, sell them. Not, don't sell your good one. This is your you know, original one. Don't sell him. He's, he's actually doing good. You're, you're going to keep him there for the whole game. But these three right here, sell them. So these three first, replace them for his three sinisters. Obviously, max out that one first. And then once you get, like, you know, to the point where you have four more Sinisters maxed out, what you're going to want to do, come on over here and save up a bunch of money, wait a few waves, and then once you have a bunch of money, start selling these guys so then you can upgrade your new Sinisters, okay? Once you guys do that, you're going to be good to go. That's what's going to get you to the max waves. Now, for the rest of this game, guys, because I just pretty much told you the rest of the strategy there, I'm going to put on a nice little time lapse. What? I'm going to do something a little bit crazy, guys. I'm going to put on auto skip, and we're going to see how far we can get having auto skip on now that we hit wave 50. So, it's probably not even possible because these guys right here are going to kill us. So, but uh, maybe I should wait till like, they're dead to put on auto skip because if I, you know, put it on now, I'll probably die right away. So, let's wait till the next wave starts, and then we'll put on auto skip because I don't want to blow it just yet. But, uh, 
like I said, guys, this is what you're going to want to do to get to the super high waves as a solo player. Use this loadout. Once you get to this point, sell these three green laser cameras, place down more sinisters, max them out. Once they are maxed, it, like survive a couple more waves. Then when you have like over 120,000 cash, sell, sell, sell. Place, place, place sinisters. And just keep getting them over to this area, okay? Get them near your DJ, get them near your medics, and you're gonna be good to go. If for some reason, you know, you don't wanna put a medic here, like maybe move your medic over this way a little bit more. So then you can cover it over here and maybe more so back this way and then you can get down more guys and you know be extra safe so those are just some of my recommendations guys i know that y'all will uh get the job done i believe in y'all so you're good to go i'm pretty sure that uh you'll be able to survive this pretty easily and probably get yourself on the leaderboard if you follow the strategy seriously but don't do what i'm about to do do not put on auto skip because you will probably die let's see how many more ways i can survive with auto skip on okay it's gonna be a fun little challenge but starting in three two one wish me luck guys time lapse is engaging now auto skip on good luck Well, guys, as you saw there, we made it to wave 63, and that was with auto skipped and engaged every since, like, like what was it, like wave 52 or 51? So, like, we survived 10 more waves with auto skip on. Imagine if we just had it off, like, we would have been fine. Like, once again, like I just said, I just don't want to spend three hours, you know, wasting your time, wasting my time. Like, I just want to teach you guys the best method so that way you could go out there and you could get the job done and you could get yourself on the leaderboard. But I'm not getting myself on the leaderboard, mark my words, until there's an ultimate prize. Once there's an ultimate prize, the ultimate unit I could be, you know, getting, then I will try my best to do it. And I'll teach you guys that, you know, like, once, you know, once I actually do it, I'll show you that gameplay. That way, you know, I'm not joking. But this is how you do it, guys. You got to use these units that'll get you to the end. And the reason that the Sinister becomes so OP is because of that DJ guy. If you don't have him yet, focus, focus, focus on getting the DJ. The DJ is going to be your game changer. Who cares about corrupts? Who cares about engineers? Who cares about TV spiders? If you got them, trade them for the DJ, TV man, because he is going to be the what makes your team super strong and super OP. So I hope that this video was like, you know, intriguing to you guys. I hope that you found it like, you know, maybe somewhat you know, entertaining to watch, like, useful. I hope that you, you know, put these, you know, skills that you now know, like, strategies to your test and get to a super high wave. It'll be, uh, you know, really, really awesome for you. So, I wish y'all luck. Try to get onto the leaderboard. Gotta get to wave 80, though. So, I mean, hey, we were pretty darn close, guys. A couple more waves, we'd have been there. But, uh, I just, uh, couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, guys. I couldn't do it. But, anyways, that's how you do it. So, now you know. I hope that you're happy with that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my coins that you get. I would sec like recommend like you guys save your coins as well because you see how I have 130,000? Well, if that ultimate does for some reason come into the shop as well for like a 0.0002%, well, guess what? Then I could just use my coins and try to get them. I probably won't because I'm not very lucky. But uh, hey, I will definitely, definitely try my best. Yo, we got my boy Zaven in this game right now. I don't know exactly where he is, but we all don't know Zaven. He's one of our big supporters. Actually, in my stream tonight... You know, once again, shout out to you, Zaven. Thank you again, because he dropped a couple gifted members. And that's really nice, because, you know, sometimes people can't become members on their own. And this guy gifted some out for free. So, that was really nice of him. I don't know where he is right now, but... Oh, he's over here, guys. Check this out. He's over here chilling or something. So, what's up, Zaven? We got him over here. I'm just going to go say hi. 
But uh, I was supposed to have my show in here. My show was supposed to be the guy on the server, but he wasn't here. He was uh, probably sleeping now because it's like 2 or 3 in the morning. So, makes sense. But uh, what's up, Zaven? Shout out to you, buddy. Thank you again for all the gifted members. But anyways, guys, before I go, there's one last thing I want to say. You see this merch I got on? It's my 400,000 special merch for Roblox. If you don't want to buy it, make sure you all join my like Roblox like group. It's called the Crazy Club. I got a link in the description of the video. Click that. Go over there. Make sure you guys buy it while you still could because at 500k, it's going to be gone forever. And also, guys, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Head on over to my website, ltcrazy.com. Enter your tickets. You'll be good to go. And if you're in the trading pause at all and, like, you know, doing any trades, make sure you all check out my website values so you guys don't get scammed. Just remember the recommendations, not exact values. Obviously, there's no such thing as exact values because that doesn't make sense. It's just recommendations. So make sure you all use it so, you, you know, avoid scammers. At least give yourself some sort of reasonable like you know clue on like what the values could possibly be or like sort of like the range you know that way you know you guys can thank me later before you get scammed because i know like every day in my comments are like lt got scammed please help me get my units back well every day in my videos i always say go check out my website so you don't get scammed and you know you probably didn't check out my website so that's your fault i made the website for you guys for free it's free to use so go check it out don't get scammed all right with that being said if y'all want to watch another video of mine check out the one i made yesterday it was an awesome awesome trading video i know you're gonna love it so it's on your screen now make sure y'all click it and i'll see you there adios